Oh my god, what the heck are they doing? Three, two, one! Welcome to the Gavin Ramon Show. Today, we're going to be watching a brand new movie that's just come out with Sydney Sweeney called Immaculate. Let's do this. Oh, is this like a proper horror then? I didn't think it was. I thought it was like a thriller. It's giving me a bit of a a weird vibe, to be honest with you. What is she trying to do? I don't really understand. She's trying to nick something, maybe steal something and get out. Ah, the keys. keys. Oh, that got me, that one. I didn't jump. I didn't jump. Well, if she didn't hear you before, she definitely hears you now, my friend. We've got four Valaks, four of them. <laughs> Kick. What are you doing? Okay, so I don't think that she made it. I think she's gone. They've gone and buried her alive, haven't they? Oh dear, oh dear. Is there going to be someone in there with her? Oh no, don't. Okay, so we've got some really, really naughty nuns doing some things that they shouldn't be doing. You're very young to be a nun, aren't you? Que sprego. He's saying, what a waste, look at her, because she's beautiful. But come on, like, you don't say that. Like, what? She's a nun. I hope you find what you're looking for. Well, they're not creepy at all, are they? Why would you say something like that to a nun? You wouldn't. So she's going to the same place where that girl was just killed at the start then. E come se gli angeli ti avessero mandato qui direttamente dal paradiso. Aspettavamo con ansia il tuo arrivo, mia cara. She doesn't understand you, my friend. She Let me show you to your room. Well, she's not very polite, is she? This one. What is it with people in this movie? Catacombs? It's off limits. Catacombs, is that what she said? As in underneath, there's something underneath them. Oh. That sounds beautiful. I like that a lot. You're very sweet. Thank you. I don't mean that as a compliment. Has she got to stick up her ass or something? What's wrong with this one? The ceremony will start at 1700 in the chapel. You know the vibes I'm getting? Have you guys seen Suspiria? I watched that recently and this is giving me those vibes where there's something obviously really, really wrong here. Just uh, low attendance. And that church was my family. Do you know who I thought that was? I thought that was Yen from The Witcher on Netflix. I don't think it is her. That's who I thought that was. So I'm placing my bets in saying that I think that there's some sort of cult or something going on there. And they said the catacombs, so there's something happening underneath and it's all of these naughty nuns, I don't know. I think that's the only thing I would struggle with if you was to give yourself to a faith. To not have love and commitment from a partner, I think that's the only thing I would struggle with. Everything else I think I could do. I remember this sharp pain of cold. Oh, she nearly drowned. Okay. So she nearly drowned as a child. Wow, okay. I nearly drowned as well. She senses something isn't right. What's going on? This is supposed to be a happy place, a good place. Okay, so that's a little bit weird. I don't think that's normal, is it? No? No? Suffered this is the... Oh my good God, is that the real thing? What the heck is going on? What on earth is going on here? Is there no one there? <laughs> oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, you creepy little ch chimpanzee. Well, that's really not the sort of dream you want to be having when you're a nun. There, really, is it? Just throwing it out there. No, thank you. Not interested. What a blessing to mentor you both. Finish eating. We have work to do. Did you see that? Oh, my God. Oh. Did she really just say that about her? 
really like this song as well. You know, I always mention music in movies. I like this music. Yo, what is up with this chick? She is really creepy. Oh my god. <laughs> what are you doing, you absolutely crazy wench? Oh my goodness. That's not normal, right? Is it? That's not normal. Job where they can keep their clothes on. So I signed up. That's not really the right pl reason to sign up. Oh, oh my god, I was joking. <coughs> are you okay? <coughs> yeah, yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. I don't think I could stay here, could you? Because everything is just like creepy and everything's just weird. I wouldn't stay there, no way. Of obedience, poverty and chastity. She's pregnant. I'm sorry, why are you asking me this? It's okay, just answer the question if you would. Chastity, isn't that pregnancy? Oh my God. What is going on? Oh my god, that is extremely creepy, dude. How can she be pregnant if she's not been with anyone? No, thank you. Something really weird is going on here, mate. Not a big fan. Oh my god, they're doing an ultrasound to see if she's pregnant. I had to have one of them a little while ago to check my liver. They're going to see it as a blessing, aren't they? That it's been sent from above. You are with child. How is that even possible if she's not been with anyone? Yeah, I don't think she looks too happy about this. I mean, I suppose you wouldn't be, would you? You'd kind of be like, what the heck is going on? She's a sacrifice. I think that's what's going on here. And that other girl knows that's why she was looking at her like that. Oh, is that one of her teeth? Yuck. She's going to turn into Gollum, isn't she? That's what's going to happen. Oh, my goodness. Oi, I'm telling you, that woman would get it. What on earth is she doing? They have to try again with me. So, basically, one of them drugged her and sexually assaulted her. That's what happened when she passed out. We ran some blood tests to check for distress. I tell you, I want to just... That other girl who's been on her since she got there, she needs to get an axe straight through there, mate. Father Isabel said it was supposed to be her. Why would she say that? Because they're all in cahoots, my dear, and they're setting you up. Our hospital is not what you need right now. You're perfectly healthy. Yeah, see? Dodgy, guys. Dodgy. This thing is for you to stay here until the saviour is born. Okay, so they're all in on it. She needs to get the hell out of there, mate. You know? Cult. Obvious. Right, so someone just took a no nosedive off the roof. That ain't good, is it? Safe to say that she's not going to make it. Quench. Open your eyes. I didn't trust it from about 20 minutes ago, mate. God has nothing to do with Sisters, this. Sisters, is something the matter? I can see you. Yes. Yes, yeah, something is the matter, mate. You're a creep. She's obviously going to be next, isn't she? So maybe the girl at the start of the movie was trying to escape because she was pregnant as well, but I didn't notice if she was or not. I can't remember. I mean, how many more signs do you need, really? For Satan himself often masquerades as an angel of light. So she's getting a sign from behind the painting on the wall. She's getting a warning. So are they trying to birth Lucifer or some, a redeeming or something like that? Is that what this is? I'm not saying she's got nice feet. I never said that. I never said that. I didn't look. Didn't look. I, di I didn't look. This is very, very tense. Very, very tense indeed. <laughs> it's going to be that guy, isn't it? It's going to be that dude, I'm telling you. So they've got all this information about her before she even joined. They know everything about her. 
I know this is just a film, but ladies should take note. You look much more attractive without makeup. I think. I think that's the like. I think she looks better like that than she does with all the the glam stuff. This is her friend, isn't it? What are they doing to her? Get in there and help her, man. What are you doing? Get in there and help her. Oh my God, what the heck are they doing? They're gonna cut off her tongue. Oh my God, so she can't talk. So maybe this nun isn't so crazy after all. I think she's trying to help her, but maybe she is a bit messed up from what they've done to her as well. She's doing something to herself. Oh my good God, did she do this to herself? I think she did that to herself to get herself into hospital. Maybe that was quite a smart decision. I thought she was faking it. Maybe she isn't faking it. The blood's going to go in her mouth and she's going to realise it's not blood. It's the chicken's blood. I told you. Good girl. Oh, no. Yep, he knows. Oh, dear. She must have taken a weapon with her. She must have done. She should have taken that knife with her. What an evil old lady. And I want to reassure you that you're safe. You're safe, as I'm going to beat the living crap out of you. We found blood, tissue, little fragments. What the heck, dude? Let me show you. So they're trying to resurrect Jesus Christ by inseminating girls with messed up DNA. That's really, really sick, ain't it, when you think about it? Oh my God, these people are absolutely insane, aren't they? Playing God. I am not playing God. Well, you kind of are playing God, mate, if you're getting women and abusing them. You know what I mean? Just taking advantage, doing what you want, you know? And this, this is yours. No. She don't agree with you, mate. She don't agree with you. What's, what's going on? Oh is... no, this is the branding on the feet. Like they did to all the others. Please no. They no, shot no, 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 These guys no. are messed up in their head, dude. How could you hurt her pretty little toes, man? These people are absolutely psychotic, man. We need her to get a big flipping axe or something off one of the walls. <clears throat> My god, no 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 no, that's gotta hurt. That is so flipping disturbing. I don't like that at all. This makes me so uncomfortable. <sighs> oh my God, a nail's coming off. I don't like that. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's horrible. That's horrible. This is not God's work. It's the devil's work, obviously. I'd be right. I don't know how any person of God could think that this is a good idea. She's thinking about it. Come on, girl, get up and smash her in the face. Have one of them, you bitch. Right between the eyes. Go on, take her out. Good girl. I think you got her. I think you got her. Definitely. Her water's just broken. That's not a good... That's not good. Good. This is the old guy. Come on, girl. I think she should have used something over his head, to be quite honest with you. Oh, my God. She's definitely got him. Did you... What are you... Yeah, run, you little son of a... Run. Ethanol. I'm not too sure what that is. That flammable. I take it that it is, right? 
Come on then, big man. Let's see how tough you are. <laughs> yep, go on, Randy Ed. Good girl. Bite his finger, bite his finger. Has she still got the lighter? She's still got it. It's getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. Let's go and burn all burn, baby, burn, baby. <laughs> Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. Is that all of them? Moustache man, it's got to be, right? There's a brick there, brick him in his head. Oh, she's going into the catacombs. This is what they said at the start of the movie. You cannot go into the catacombs. Well, she is now. I think this is going to be really, really horrible down here. Is this actually a real place, this thing? Because, like, it looks amazing, these catacombs. It's got to be, right? Oh, my God, that's her friend. Oh, no. Oh, look, there's the light, but you're never going to get to the light because he's going to grab you. Here comes the leg grab. He's going to grab her. <laughs> Told you. No! No! The hell are you doing, my guy? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Mother of God. Grab something. Grab something it's just in his head. Yes. I mean, that guy had to go. He was a real pain in the neck. Fuck you. Well done, girl. She smashed it. We still get... A, I bet Moustache Man's going to get away. Oh, my God. She's going for it. Oh, my God. This is so uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Just, it's just too much. This is too much. No, 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 I'm a bit afraid to see what the heck's going to happen here. Oh, my good God. I'm a little bit speechless. Are we not going to see if what the baby is or isn't? You have got to be kidding me, my guy. You have got to be kidding me. Look, I'm into... Graphic stuff, that's a bit much for me, you know? That's a bit much. I don't know how anyone could do this. I, I, I couldn't. What do you even say to that? I mean, what do you what, what do you even say to that? That's just... Wow. Wow. Wow, have one of them, mate. Sleep tight. So, ladies and gents, it's time for our review of Immaculate. Wow! That's all I can say about that one. That caught me off guard. I thought it was going to be a bit like Suspiria, which it was, with the whole kind of cult vibe belief and all of that sort of stuff. First up, I've got to say, I think that that's probably, so far, I think that's probably the best performance I've seen of her career, Sydney Sweeney. I think, I don't think it was a perfect movie, but in terms of her performance, that's, she's gone up a level in my books. Because I like her anyway, I think she's cool, do you know what I mean? I'm a typical bloke, I know. But that's that's her best performance. That was, that was on level with how Pearl's speech was at the end, uh, Mia Goff's speech was at the end of Pearl. You know, that put Mia Goff up there for me that speech and that performance in, in Pearl in particular, this for me is the one that's kind of put her in that category where I go, wow, like, yeah, the screaming thing made me feel so uncomfortable. It really did make me feel uncomfortable. I didn't like that, which is good. That shows you she can hold her own. And a lot of the time she was on screen on her own and she produced the movie. So honestly, well done, Sydney Sweeney. That was really, really good stuff. Considering that's her first production, I think, that's impressive, isn't it? She smashed it, really. In terms of a rating, I'd probably give it a six out of 10. I don't think it's like the best of this type of thriller horror type movie, but I think it's 
a worthy movie. I think it's a good movie. So if you're into this sort of thing, these types of horrors or thrillers, I don't know how you would describe it. I think, yeah, I suppose you've got to call it a horror. It's, it's worthwhile. I'm not going to give it higher because... I've seen, like, as I say, I've seen movies like Suspiria, which I loved immensely, and I think that's a better movie. And it's this, it's along these sort of lines, but it's a really good film, really, really good film. And her performance was just wicked. I thought the priest or whatever he was, the guy there with the black hair, I thought he was really good in the movie. Pretty sick in the head, wasn't he? To be honest with you. I think they all done quite well, actually. And I love the scenery. The scenery of the film was really, really impressive. I love the catacombs. I don't know where this was filmed, obviously Italy or wherever, but I thought the, the catacombs sequencing was just amazing. I really liked that. And I also liked a lot of the, the church music that was in this. There was a part in there, I think it was with a harp or a harpsichord, something like that, early on in the movie. There was a song that was being played, and I really, really liked that. But overall, if you're into this kind of movie... This is this is this is good. Yeah, I think she's done very well. And I'll definitely hope that she produces more like this because again, she's got that same sort of thing going on as Mia Goff. And I'll compare her to Mia Goff and Anya Taylor because to me they're the same not the same actress, but they're the same they do like those indie type movies as well as the big screen stuff. And it's these ones that I prefer. I prefer this sort of stuff over your main big screen blockbusters that everyone watches. I think this was a good a good attempt for her first production. So I'll leave it there, ladies and gents. I'd love to know what you thought of the movie. And don't forget to join us for all the other stuff on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and check out June Part 2, which is now on the channel. Loads more coming up, including the stuff that I've just watched with my mum, which was Deep Blue Sea, which scared her a little bit. That's Is that on the channel yet or not? I don't think it is. Deep Blue Sea, A Knight's Tale, Game of Thrones we've just started watching, which will be over on Patreon as well. But yeah, I'll leave it there. I'll see you guys next time. This is The Gavin Ramon Show. Peace. Give me what you want.